right, welcome back everyone. I successfully installed the sway bar. I'm not exactly sure it's supposed to be this way, but this is the best logical conclusion I could come up with. It didn't seem to uh, quite fit right. There is actually another ear, and it's going to be hard to see that, but as you can see, my screwdriver roll over, or this scribe roll over. I cut the ears off. There was a second hole here, but this hole that you can barely see right down in there is for an M4. The M4 does not fit in this hole. This is an M3. All right, so I used the two longest screws that are provided in this kit for the sway bar of M3s, and after trimming off the ears and rounding them off, as you can kind of see there, there's a little bit of aluminum powder, aluminum dust, a little bit of discoloration. All right. So that's how that is. And as near as I can tell, that is the way to mount the sway bar. Let me give you a second to get a look. And you can see the grub screw sitting here. Got the ball, and we got the big fat screw sitting in here inside this socket right you use a little tamiya grease to lubricate everything make sure everything pivots correctly nicely and in my opinion i don't know i'm sure it's going to make a difference driving it but in my opinion i don't feel any difference when i do this versus when the sway bar was missing of course to the car though this is probably going to make a huge difference sometimes little tiny changes will make a huge difference in what you want it could be desirable it could be undesirable but at least now the suspension feels the same so it should lean into the corners the same way give me the same feel in the left turn and a right turn so that's the nice part there so it was worthwhile taking it apart and go ahead and installing this little kit even though i got some extra parts right there Charisma is always really good about supplying some extra screws and hardware, so I just got to finish reassembling it, and eh, hopefully if the weather, well, it's been over 100 degrees for it seems like a month, so I haven't been too motivated to go outside lately, but mm, if it's supposed to cool down next week, maybe I'll take it out to the schoolyard, or not the schoolyard, yet, well, the school anyway, they have a pretty good parking lot over there where it's nice and flat. And my road in front of my house is really bumpy. The chassis bottoms out and it scratches. And I don't, I really don't want to scratch up the chassis because it's, a, it's, no, you would understand why because it's a rare production vehicle. Anyway, have a good day.